Hi everybody and welcome to week six. Well, it's taken me all day to get in front of the camera, but I'm finally here and welcoming you to this week. This week we were scheduled to talk about theory in social media research and practice, but um, I realized that that would mean you were dealing with a, a quite heavy topic right as you were trying to finalize your posters. You would have had your theory reflections due at the same time as your persona poster. And I want to give you a little bit of an easier ride over that weekend by giving you a topic that is perhaps a little bit less challenging because it's more applied and practical. So what I've done is move up our topic on disasters. So this week we'll be looking at social media in times of natural disaster in particular. We've got a content set for you that was um, originally curated um, by last year's tutor, Tracy Whitelaw, um, who has an interest in this space and is doing a PhD in this space. Um, I've updated those resources for us for this year, but um, Tracy wrote quite a great um, narrative description that brings it all together. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys make of that material. Of course, social media has played a huge role in times of natural disaster, and um, part of that ha can be seen to have played out in the Brisbane floods of 2011, um, which I'm sure would have affected some of you in one way or another. Um, so I think it's a topic that everyone can relate to, and one I think that's really interesting. There's some really interesting practice and research going on in this space, um, and just out of, um, out of coincidence, Brisbane is actually a bit of a hub for great social media practice in this space. Um, Brisbane City Council and the Queensland um, Police Force are all are both recognised as being leaders in social media practice um, around disasters. And um, the Queensland Police in particular are recognised as being um, great practitioners in the space, in the social media space more generally. So this week you might like to follow um, those organisations as well, for example on Twitter or Facebook. In terms of what's due this week, there are two things you need to be thinking about. First up in last week's class, I asked you to um, please come up with an extra couple of questions for the social media use survey and there's a blog post for you to add those questions to. Um, I've asked you to do that by the end of this week. You also have your activities due for week five on the networks and communities topic. Um, so there is the reflect activity that everyone needs to complete. Plus you might like to think about completing either the share or play activity or both um, to contribute towards your total of five play and share activities that you need to complete across the course of the semester. So that's what is um, explicitly due this week. Now there was one other reason I wanted to change up the topics a little bit for this week and that was because I wanted you to do some preparation for our class this Friday. So again, I wanted to give you a topic that was a bit easier um, to digest so that you're able to uh, concentrate on doing some preparation for that class. So the preparation that you need to do for that class is to um, think about your persona poster assignment and to start drafting it. Um, and by drafting, I mean making lists of the things that you might like to include. Um, sketching it by hand and marking out different regions. Um, it might also be pulling that content together into um, a, a, a PowerPoint document or something in Illustrator. And then to take that um, content that you've created and in either an image form or a PDF form, deposit it into a folder, um, a, a drop it to me folder, which will put it into my Dropbox, and I'll then collate those drafts so that we can look at them in class on Friday. So what I'll do is everything that comes in um, by uh, Thursday night, I will then put into a presentation which we will run through in class on Friday. So please um, do that. Drafty, drafty work is fine. It doesn't have to be polished at all. Drafty, McDrafty is good. Um, the more that we have to talk about, the more drafts that we have to talk about, the better. Um, so please do put some effort in and do that before class this week. Um, and you'll have more time to do that because we're going to go with that more practical or applied topic for this week's uh, activities. Last but not least, I just wanted to mention that I have made another video for you today. And that video focuses on the persona poster assignment 
and gives you more of a breakdown of what you're expected to include in that assignment. So make sure you watch that video and consider it along with the information in the class on personas that we did um, earlier in the semester and get yourself a really good understanding of what we're doing in the assignment. The video goes through the criteria sheet um, and goes through all the kinds of things that you should be considering, including in your persona poster. Okay, have a great week. Enjoy the disasters topic. It's, um, it's quite interesting material and I think that you really will enjoy it. Um, and I'll see as many of you as possible in class on Friday. Remember, Friday's class is online only in Adobe Connect and you can access the session via the link on the class page. Have a great week, guys.